Hi, uh, welcome to my next video on Azure App Services. Here we are going to see 20 questions within 20 minutes time frame. I will be providing answers and explanations for every questions. So the topic here is Azure App Services. First question, true or false? App Service supports for multiple programming languages and containers. Is it true or false? The right answer for this question is true. Let's see the reason. It supports for multi-programming languages and the frameworks. They provide support for ASP.NET, ASP.NET Core, Java, Ruby, Node.js, Python and many more. It also supports for multiple variety of containers like Windows, Linux and other stuff. Next question, App Service is here, PaaS, EaaS or SaaS? The right answer for this question is Platform as a Service. It is a platform as a service that provides complete platform for developing, running and managing applications and services. Microsoft takes care of all the underlying infrastructure so you can focus on building and deploying your application and so app service is a perfect example for platform as a service. Next question, true or false? App services is a kind of reserving a resource for a customer exclusively for hosting one or more web apps and a charge for per unit reservation. Is it true or false? If you look into this question, the first two portion of the question is true. That is, it is used for uh, hosting one or more app apps. However, reserving it for per unit reservation is false. That is, app services are charged based upon pay as you go model and so the right answer for this question is false. Next question, which among the following types of apps can be hosted using Azure App Service? Web apps, API apps, web jobs, mobile apps. The right answer for this question is all the above. App services can be used to host web apps or API apps and those APIs can be consumed by other application. It can be used to host a web job and also it can be used to host mobile apps which may consume the api apps or the exposure apis and so the right answer for this question is option d that is all the above next question true or false azure app service has a built-in load balancing and a traffic manager that to provide high availability is it true or false the right answer for this question is true here uh, the the app service which will provide uh, load balancing capabilities which are all built in internally and so there is no need for external load balancing capability next question your company needs to deploy and manage several azure web apps using azure app service resource which of the following url would you use to manage azure web app is it portal.microsoft.com or portal.azurewebsites.net or portal.azure.com or portal.azurewebsites.com the right answer for this question is portalazure.com next question a owner of an app while using azure app services need to manage the following application data middleware application framework and we need to choose the right among the options one two and three and four the right answer for this question is option A that is application and data. Application and data are the stuff that is need to be handled by the owner of the app and the rest of the stuff like middleware, application framework, hardware, security patches and other stuff will be taken care by the customer or the Microsoft. And so it is a perfect example for platform as a service. Next question, how many types of hosting environments are there within Azure App Service? Do you need to specify the right number 2, 3, 4, or 5? The right answer for this question is option A, that is 2. There are two types of hosting environments that are present in Azure App Service, that is, using Azure App Service Plan or Azure App Service Environment. Next question Is Azure Web App and Azure App Service are the same? Is it yes or no? The right answer for the question is no. The, the the hosting apps in Azure App Service is 
what makes up the web app whereas managed services that enables you to deploy web application in azure including the app service so web app and azure app service are, are the different stuff web app is a kind of a application web application that can be hosted anywhere azure app service is a kind of container whereupon you can host the web app it's not only the web app other things like ap app mobile app web jobs can be hosted in a azure app service next question which azure service gives information about how an app or app service plan behave is it scale up or scale out quota or metrics this is related to to information about how an app or app service plan behave so it is a kind of tracking and so the right answer for this question is metrics metrics in azure give information about how an app or app service plan behaves is it going in a healthy condition or any attention required from the hosting service provider or from the developer side that you can watch it through the metrics data whatever collected next question true or false using app azure apps you can able to combine multiple applications together the right answer for this question is true let's see the reason one of the best features is being able to combine multiple applications together if you used the azure worker roles before they required that each app has its own servers you can save a lot of money by switching to azure app services and combining your applications together if you want to separate them you can just put them in a different app service plan which is more like a different group of servers and so the option for this question is a right answer for this question is a next question which app service plan is suited for building proof of concept the right answer for i mean you need to choose between basic plan free plan standard plan as well as the premium plan other than that there is another plan which is available that's called uh, shared plan out of this answer the right out of this option the right answer for this question is free plan and let's see the reason free plan allows user to use 1 gb physical memory and can host up to 10 applications and this is considered as a best suit for building proof of concept to prove a technical decision and release it later and so you are not charged for anything which you are you are hosting under the free plan and so proof of concept development is a short lived a short lived phase and so there is no need to pay much attention or much attention with respect to the cost and so we can host them it into the free plan next question true or false app services is a kind of reserving a resource for a customer exclusively for hosting one or more web apps and charged for for per unit reservation is it true or false the right answer for this question is false azure apps are all charged based upon per use model and it is a flexible uh, flexible stuff for the customer who can pay based upon the usage and so the right answer for this question is option b next question choose the correct answer with respect to azure apps it supports for python it is support for automatic backup and recovery it has a built in monitoring tool it supports for auto scaling we need to choose the right answer between one, between 1 2 3 and 4 the right answer for this question is all the above it, it azure app service which supports for multiple programming languages including dotnet dotnet core python java it supports for backup and recovery as well as the load balancing it has built in monitoring tools through which you can monitor the performance of your application and you can scale up down based upon the load that the application is experiencing and so the right answer for this question is all the above next question true or false azure apps uses pay as you go pricing model the right answer for this question is true the customers have a flexibility to opt for pay as you go model when they use azure app services and so option a is the right answer next question azure app service plan is suited for building enterprise application so which among this for, uh, plan is used for building enterprise application 
is it basic plan or free plan or standard plan or premium plan the right answer for this question is premium plan and we have already seen free plan is used for building proof of concept whereas premium plan helps in helps in uh, hosting uh, helps helps a customer to host their enterprise application it into the microsoft azure premium plan supports for larger physical and ram memory enterprise applications are usually designed to handle large volume of user base high usage and with low latency and so premium plan is recommended for building enterprise applications next question is azure app service a serverless environment is it yes or no the right answer for this question is yes let's see the reason run and scale the web mobile and web api api application on as using the platform as a service so it provide high availability fully managed environment with azure app service and so it is a perfect example for serverless environment whereupon you have to concentrate only on app and your data whereas the rest of the stuff including hardware maintenance os upgrade security patches and other stuff will be taken care by the cloud service provider that is microsoft azure next question is it possible to rename an app service is it yes or no the right answer for this question is no you cannot rename an app service as far as the app service name you have to delete your resource and create a new one with the name that you want if you would like to rename an app service next question which of the following offers serverless capabilities azure function azure app services azure kubernetes services all the above the right answer for this question is all the above all of them offer serverless computing environment and it is so flexible for the customers the next question is which type of scale in azure app services provide us more cpu memory disk space dedicated virtual machine etc is it scale up or scale out the right answer for this question is scale up that is most part of the time the cpu memory disk scale space will be increased in the virtual machine or a server environment where the application is hosted and so it is a perfect example for scale up with that i end up uh, today's discussion i hope this video is helpful for you to prepare yourself for interview and exam preparation there is a learning video which is available in youtube and you can verify that in order to get into more details about questions answers and explanation as i mentioned earlier this is not the end of our session we are going to continue our discussion in a new topic sometime tomorrow till then stay safe and bye now